As a society, we are continuously finding new breakthroughs and ideas, whether that is repurposing existing inventions or being on the forefront of cutting-edge technology. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at three recent announcements and discoveries taking place around the globe. Deep frozen Arctic microbes are waking up. For centuries, the Arctic has hosted a diverse range of mysteries just waiting to be uncovered. In recent years, scientists have discovered that thawing permafrost is releasing microorganisms, with consequences that are still largely unknown. Within the past decade, global warming rates have outpaced scientific predictions so rapidly that scientists now believe the poles are warming four times faster than the rest of the Earth. Scientists were not expecting to see the glacial and permafrost levels that have been reported until at least 2050. What is most interesting about this rapid melting is that it has also produced new landforms in Siberia and northern Canada, called thermocast. These landforms occur when the oldest and deepest permafrost has been exposed to the air for the first time in hundreds or even thousands of years. This rapidly melting permafrost brings two important questions to mind. One, will an increase in water filtration lead to more rapid permafrost thaw? And two, if the permafrost thaws more rapidly, are there long frozen organisms inside that might be revived? At the time of this video, permafrost covers approximately 24% of Earth's surface. As more of this permafrost thaws and much more rapidly than expected, it is up to scientists to analyze the microbes and bacteria that might be within it. The balance between these microbes could play an essential part in determining future climate warming. In Siberia, a permafrost thaw in 2016 led to an anthrax outbreak that resulted in the loss of 200,000 reindeer and a child. But anthrax's resilient spores are an exception to the brutal freeze-thaw cycle that breaks down more fragile bacterial and viral pathogens. The warmer the Arctic becomes, the weirder it might get, as more microbes and long-frozen pathogens come back to life beneath the thaw. It is difficult to assess the risks without further microbial study and more accurate scientific datasets. As travel through the region increases, the likelihood of pathogen transmission also increases. And as climate change continues to transform the Arctic, the full range of consequences is yet to be revealed. Six thousand year old hunting arrows revealed by melting ice in Norway. Archaeologists in Norway have unearthed hundreds of artifacts dating back to the Viking era, nearly a thousand years ago. As mentioned, the artifacts turned up on an ancient road in a pass in the Lomsegen Mountains, where ice is becoming scarce due to climate change. Across the world, glaciers are losing more and more ground due to climate change. According to a study published in 2019, some 390 billion tonnes of ice and snow are disappearing from land-based glaciers every year. A decline that looks like a catastrophe on a global scale, but ironically for some, is a boom. While the ice is melting, it reveals in some places archaeological treasures buried for centuries and whose existence was not suspected. This is what happened in the Jotunheim Massif located in the southwest of Norway. While conducting an expedition in a melting ice field, archaeologists uncovered hundreds of artifacts dating back more than a thousand years. 68 hunting arrows used for reindeer hunting, some dating back to 4000 BC, have been discovered in a slab of melted ice north of Oslo. Led by a team of researchers from the University of Cambridge, the operation also unearthed nearly 300 specimens of reindeer antlers and bones, Iron Age sticks, a shoe that is more than 3000 years old, as well as cloth that may have been used to wrap meat. Located 300 kilometers north of the Norwegian capital, the Langfon ice sheet, where these objects were discovered, has retreated by more than 70% over the past two decades under the effect of global warming, according to the authors of the study. The oldest arrows, dating from 4000 BC, were found in poor condition, but those from the late Neolithic period, 2400 to 1750 BC, were very well preserved. The researchers explain that the movement of the ice sheets certainly led to damage 
and the tools that were enclosed in ice sheets helped them rise to the surface. A melting glacier reveals a World War I shelter and artefacts in the Italian Alps. Finding leftover artefacts from the tragic days of World War I is not unusual for Europeans, but it can certainly be frightening as the most common type of findings tend to be unexploded devices in marshes. The Italian Alps are a beautiful place, but for over a century they have concealed a moment in time frozen in front of our very eyes keeping the time of the First World Conflict halted as the world developed and advanced around it. On a fateful day in November 1918, Austrian soldiers left their mountain station on the Italian Mount Scoluso, only for an icy glacier to form over the cave's entrance, trapping all the items inside. The glacier is beginning to melt, and as a result, scientists have found countless pieces of memorabilia from the time of the conflict stashed away beneath the icy exterior of the cave. Archaeologists and historians were aware of the cave prior to its melting, but because of the thick ice, they could not get through it until 2017, when the ice began to melt and thinned enough to allow them to enter and explore the cave and its contents. By now, the entire excavation has been fully conducted, and archaeologists uncovered a plethora of things, from frozen food products, straw mattresses, utensils, jackets made of animal skins, and period-based newspapers. This little cave revealed in full what life was like for the soldiers in 1918, or at the very least, for those soldiers who fought upon the mountainside. Stefano Morosini stated that the artifacts are a representation, like a time machine, of the extreme conditions of life during the First World War. The group of Austrian soldiers was about 20 men in size, and they lived in the cave with an altitude of 10,151 feet in the air. Survival itself was a struggle, not to mention having to fight alongside the harsh environments. In the winter, the temperature of the Italian Alps could drop as far as minus 40 degrees. There is an overwhelming likelihood that the majority of the soldiers sent up to the Alps perished from hypothermia or avalanches, which can also be common during the winter, instead of passing away in actual conflict. Stefano Morosini added, Soldiers had to fight against the extreme environment, fight against the snow or the avalanches, but also fight against the enemy. The fighting in the Alps is now romantically known as the White War, and has had several poems written about it, glamorizing it, especially during the early 20th century. The battle lasted for three and a half years until the Austrian soldiers retreated from Mount Scoluso. Countless individuals are spread across the mountain's range. Marco Gizzoni, one of the archaeologists who excavated the glacier cave and a worker at the Museum of the White War, said, a corpse is found every two or three years, usually in places where there was fighting on the glacier. Hikers in 2020 came across a chilling sight of a frozen corpse of a soldier, with several other individuals found in the Alps within the last few years. And yet, despite the extraordinary discovery of this time capsule, it brings with it worries of global warming. But what do you make of these discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.